All right, this is the uh, bonus Easter egg here at the end of the uh, We Are Libertarians episode six. We're going to turn off the mics for Dakota and Tanner. No, you're on. You're on. So you tell me, tell me your story with your dad. <laughs> okay, so this is just an example of how well the free market works. Um, my dad and his coworker. My dad's a school teacher um, in Rushville, and um, his, his coworker and him uh, had been on odd years. They would go to Washington D.C., and on even years, they would go to New York City. And they would go to a Mets game, the broad Broadway plays, and all that stuff. And uh, they would have a hotel in Times Square. Stuff dudes well, do. Well, um, they've been doing this since 2000. They trademarked the name The Big Apple Adventure. And um, about six... They trademarked it. They had paperwork. Yes. Uh, about six years ago, um, the guy that he was working with... Uh, they agreed to lower the price so more kids could go. Well, the guy turned around and raised the prices behind my dad's back and said that's what the trip costs. And then goes to Jamaica on my dad's money. So this year, or, well, last year, uh, the guy asked my dad if he wanted to go to Washington, D.C., and dad said no. And he asked him if he wanted to go to New York next year, and dad said maybe. Well, the other day, my dad goes into work, and there are red flyers all over the school saying the Big Apple Adventure was going to New York, and that was the first my dad had heard about it. My dad got to reading the flyers because um, the guy came in and gave him some flyers to pass out to the kids, and the trip was going to cost nearly two grand to go to, and... um so my dad called the same company that that guy used for his, and they gave my dad the estimate of it would be about $800 per kid. So therefore, that guy was stealing $1,200 per kid up to 50 kids. We call it, we call it a markup. Well, it was stealing. So my dad decides to make a, a free market solution to people who aren't as fortunate so dad decides to charge eight hundred and twenty dollars per person he hasn't told the guy yet so and this is in rush county <laughs> so um so basically every kid is going to be paying eight hundred and twenty dollars to go with my dad or they can pay 1995 and f go with the other guy so there's a little bit of competition going in uh, the Rushville Middle School over who is going to be taking people. But um, two grand is absolutely outrageous for a trip to New York, and they're going to be going to the same places at the same time, except the only difference is the other guy's trip is going to cost nearly $1,200 more. So that just goes to show how good the free market is because my dad saw the problem, which was... The guy was more or less robbing the kids blind of their money to to ha keep a forty thousand dollar profit. Dad's gonna end up making about twenty dollars per kid, which is understandable. Twenty dollars per kid is very understandable. So um, that's just a solution where uh, most kids I feel like are gonna be uh, would be much more inclined to pay eight hundred and twenty dollars compared to nineteen ninety five to go to New York the same trip the same everything at the same time rather than going and paying almost two thousand dollars so that was just a little free market story that i thought i would share all right well very very cool bones i know you're listening out there i wanted a full investigation on the ground in rushville i want to know the real story <laughs> and i want names very Kent, good. Kent Wise was the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and call him. And again. round it out. Look out, Kent. The Adam, Purdue's are coming after find you. Find him on Facebook cool, and just yeah. uh, let him know it's not cool to take Jamaican uh, trips on kids' dollars. And it's not cool to steal from kids either, even even if you're going to New York. He, uh, his unless, you're, unless you're <laughs> also a kid. Then even, it's cool. even if you're, even going, if you're to going, York, going to New York. It's still just, not cool to steal from kids. Yeah, ju know? Just, I mean, his Christmas isn't going to be the Christmas he was expecting it to be. I'll just put it that way. Stealing's bad. Mic dropped. All right. That's your, uh, that's your little Easter egg here at the back end of the Boss Hog Liberty podcast. We'll see you all next time. <laughs>